when looking at binary compounds that are made up of only nonmetals, which are also called molecular compounds, you have to name them in a proper way, and you also have to write the formula in a certain way. So the rule is the first element listed is always the one that's farther left on the periodic table, except if it's hydrogen. So for example, between carbon and fluorine, carbon is farther to the left, so the carbon is written first. If you have two elements from the same group, like sulfur and oxygen, the lower element is the one that's written first. And when hydrogen is in the compound, hydrogen will always be last, except when it's paired up with something from group 16 or group 17. So for example, nitrogen and hydrogen, the hydrogen is written last, but oxygen is from group 16, so the hydrogen comes first. Once you know the order of these binary compounds, the next thing is to name them. And we're going to use prefixes, mono, di, tri, tetra, and so on, to tell how many of each element we have. So in this compound between carbon and fluorine, we have one carbon and four fluorines. The prefix for one is mono, but you always drop the mono when it's the first element listed. So instead of calling this monocarbon, we're just going to call this carbon. And then four is the prefix tetra. And we change the ending of fluorine to an ide, so this changes to fluoride. So the chemical CF4 is carbon tetrafluoride. SO2, one sulfur, so we drop the mono again because it's the first one. This would be sulfur, two is di, and oxygen changes to dioxide. CO2 would be carbon dioxide, and CO would be carbon monoxide. And it sounds better to drop one of the O's instead of saying monoxide, you just say monoxide. The chemical NF3, one nitrogen and three fluorines would be nitrogen trifluoride. And two sulfurs. When the first element is not a one, there's not one atom, there's more than one, then we do have to say how many we have. So this would be disulfur, and notice the sulfur ending doesn't change to an IDE, it's only the second element that changes its ending. Ten bromines, the prefix for ten is deca, and bromine will change to bromide. Here's a chemical between sodium and hydrogen. Now, technically this is not a molecular compound, but we can name it with the same sort of system. This is sodium first, and hydrogen changes to hydride. The reason that we don't include the mono is this is an ionic compound, so we're going to see this later on, how we name ionic ones, but I just wanted to give it as an example where hydrogen came second in the formula. NH3 is given the common name ammonia, so this doesn't follow the system. The system would say nitrogen trihydride, but the common name is ammonia, just like water is a common name for H2O.